Welcome back everybody and welcome to the day 7, today's Tuesday of our self-love journey in yoga. So today quote for the day, I really love it, so is to be yourself in this world which constantly makes you to be something else. It's the greatest achievement. So again, think about it, I really love it. To simply be yourself in this world that constantly trying to make you something else, a lot of to think about, it's already a greatest accomplishment. So let's begin our practice today on our knees. So let's begin in the tabletop, guys. Just a simple tabletop on your wrist, elbow and shoulder, one on top, another knees under knees and hips. And just simply start to open up, up and down in a cat, in cow pose. Just do a few of those just to wake up your body gently. Morning yoga practice is the best thing I can imagine for myself. So I hope something really good happened with you yesterday. So please share it with me. And what you're sharing might help someone else to move forward as well. All right, so let's begin the next flow. It's going to be a little hip circles today. Just a gentle hip circles. It doesn't have to be wide. It doesn't have to be big. So it doesn't have to be fast, guys. Just do what you can. Just do a few to one direction and then reverse it. Go to the other. It's very, very good to wake up the knees, the hips and the lower back. And give it a few more right or left, whichever you're doing right now. And then come back in the center. And let's round the spine, relax the neck a couple more times. Reach up and open one more time all the way. And we're gonna work today on our wrist a little bit. So let's take the fingertips inside. If that is a little bit too hard for you guys, then you can take them outside some, some just 30, 45 degrees out. If it feels really good for you, then go ahead and move them up there and shift the hips slightly back, just a little bit slightly back. If that doesn't feel good for your wrist, then stay a little bit higher. Keep on breathing, guys. And flow forward again, just a little bit more pressure. And then take it back one more time. And flow forward. And take it back, guys. Excellent. Let's do one more time. Flow forward. Good job. And then take it back. Let's go ahead and do a little hover. If you need to return your wrist in the normal position, then return them in a normal position. Keep on breathing. In through the nose and out through that nose. Very good. And take it slowly back. Let's take our one arm up. Big press. And let's do another one. Again, let's talk a little bit about that quote. For whatever reason, I can really connect with that. It's very um, just simply to be yourself in this world, which is constantly trying to make us be something else. And it's already a great accomplishment. It has those little, has those standards, not little standards, but has those standards. Let's do a couple more times. Standards of being successful, have, have certain jobs, Certain jobs are prestigious, certain education is prestigious, and certain is not. But how about that individuality, but someone very artistic. Let's go ahead and reach up and take the arm behind the back towards the opposite inner side. How about the artists and musicians? You know, I can share it with you, my little story. There's a big story, but I will share it quick. Let's hold it a couple more breaths first and shift the hips back. You know, I was always trying to prove something through my education, through my professions, and I, and I always loved yoga and fitness since I was a little child, but I always would acquire new skills, new professions. I've been a real estate professional and in the sales and so many bunch because, because it wasn't prestigious to be a yoga teacher or fitness instructor, and that's very sad, but that's exactly how it was. Let's reach the other arm up and draw it all the way to the opposite groin area if you can reach so anyway 
and for so many years of my life i was trying to be that successful in different ways you know and yoga and fitness always was on the second plan for me i always did it but i didn't even mention it to people when people were asking me what do you do juliet i would say oh i'm real estate professional oh i'm in sales oh i'm in a restaurant business let's go ahead and dive down guys but i would never really tell them i'm a fitness professional i help people to get stronger i teach people how to eat well uh, I have people to exercise because I kind of was embarrassed by that and only maybe last six, five, six years I realized that that's my passion and I just take the 100% of my time doing that. It's such an amazing thing but sometimes we have to go through the journey of discovery. So please guys, share with me your stories, how that applies to your life. Let's do a couple more and let's slowly tuck the toes guys and go to your downward facing dog. So I really want to hear from you. How did that quote apply to your life? What did you do what you didn't like? What did you do what you like? And how did you overcome it? And how you allowed yourself to be yourself in this changing world? Let's relax our neck and bend your knees for the few times right and left left and right very good just a couple more and let's try to do another hover and this time just the regular hands waking up the body is important so your dating can flow super successfully and you can achieve everything you can only dream Keep on breathing. I always try to start my day with positive quotes and positive affirmations. So I hope you will too. Let's take it all the way back down. Come on up with me, reach up and open. Let's give it a few shoulder rolls. Up again. One more and then let's reverse it. Waking up, reach. Inhalation, exhalation, reach up all the way. Take your one hand on the heel, reach up and open, take it back, do the other one, reach up and open, big deal. Take it all the way back, guys, let's return back to repose, our camel pose, back to the downward facing dog, relax, restore, release, both feet, heels, guys, can be lifted for beginners or you can plant them as long as you can, can extend that back for good, relax your neck team. Let's bring the one knee in the center, another knee behind, and just shift the weight back just like we do our cow face pose, really nurturing for the knees, and you don't have to go as deep as I do, you can, can just can go a halfway through. Let's try to extend our legs to the upper face and look a little bit different way. Breathe actively and then we're going to switch the leg. So let's take the other leg up front, lengthening and draw the knees on the floor, guys. Go ahead and lay down, straight the back, knees, Achilles, heels, hamstrings, everything. And then come back to your downward facing dog. Relax, restore, drop neck, right and left, left and right. And let's slowly, guys, make our way to the seated position. Just put one foot up front like we do the deer pose and another foot behind. Let's reach up and open. Inhalation, we're going to go for the little half spinal twist. Doesn't matter which direction because we're going to do both sides from each, from both sides, right and left on each leg. And take it to the other side all the way. Big press and let's switch our legs just put the other foot up front and the other foot behind reach up first little morning yoga warm up quick and effective one and all the way to the other side great work team let's go ahead and grab the feet Gonna wake up a little bit more for the hips and ankles. Lift those feet up, it doesn't have to be high. If you can lift them on the shoulder, on the chest level, do it. And press a little bit closer. You can hold it like this, or if you have a good balance this morning, and 
you have a good decent range of motion in your hips by now then go ahead and bind with elbows as well keep on breathing in through the nose out through that nose and let's slowly take it back put your feet all the way up front let's reach all the way up and draw the hands toward the heart let's remember this wonderful quote one more time before we go for our busy day today to believe in yourself truly believe in yourself and be yourself in this world which constantly trying to make us something else it's already a huge achievement so guys believe in yourself and be yourself don't be afraid to be yourself and the world will help you with that you will be the right people the right situations and i truly believe in that so please team share with me what do you think what do you feel what what will happen with you today and that might help someone else have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow morning